WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. The Dow's off 19 points, basically flat. S&P is up two points. That's flat. The Nasdaq is not flat. It's up a quarter of a percent. That's a 38-point move. Russell's down about three. Semis are flat out here. Gold is off six bucks. Silver's down 19 pennies. Light to be crude off 78 cents. Natural gas is up three pennies in a 30-year treasury. Pretty down at 109.07. That's up 24 ticks. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini, upper left-hand side. What do we know? Well, we know that today is a test of support. That support is the buy the D point program by the B D point pattern out there. And a close below 42.35.50 would negate that signal. Otherwise, that bullish pattern remains in effect. If we take a look at the spot volatilities, it's still well above its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day at 17.01, the spot is at 20.86. It always presents problems for the bulls or for the buyers with regard to the S&P 500. That is, unless it bottoms. Right now, it's testing that bottom. If we take a look at the NQ, it's testing its TD9 count bottom. And that's at 14.586. It's held as long as it holds. It remains, um, well, the bottom remains. Let's just say that. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's pulling back a bit. It's consolidating with inside its daily profile. It has erodes momentum indicator top. Odds favor move back to the 105.57 level. That's the bottom of that profile. On Friday, Goldilocks completed its TD9 count top. And today, it's attempting to form a new bearish structured profile. I say attempting because it's only on my real early warning Doppler system out there. But right now, we do know where buyers and sellers are lined up. The sellers, they're between the range of 1983.50 to 1996.30. The buyers, they're sitting down at 1957.80. And we won't have confirmation of that until tomorrow. If we take a look at silver, silver on Friday negated its TD9 count top. It does not have a top. But what price did do is it ran right into resistance. That's that TD9 count breakdown resistance area. And not until price closed above 23.925 can we say that silver has broken out. If we take a look at light speed crude, still trading with inside its daily profile. That's a bullish structured profile. Price wants to try to get up to that 91.25 level. If we take a look at natural gas, so we've got the equity future contracts. That is at least the ES, the NQ, the YM, which we don't see here, testing support levels. Well, so too is natural gas. And that's down at that 3.216 level. And the 30-year Treasury on Friday generated rose to indicator bottom. And right now, today, it's attempting to form a new profile. Price is trading into that resistance zone. That's between 109.09 110, even Steven. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you're off to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one. Thanks so much for joining us. I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.